Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and what I would like to do today is explain to you how to share a site in SharePoint with someone else. Now, let me first explain to you what I mean by sharing. By sharing, I mean inviting someone to, the, to, to your SharePoint site who doesn't have access to that site already. All right, let's say I have a colleague, uh, Mary, and if Mary and I are both members uh, of the same team, if we are already uh, part of the site, um, I guess it would be redundant for me to share the site with Mary. I mean, I can obviously do that, but uh, Mary would already have access to the site. So by sharing, I truly mean uh, extending the invite, if you will, uh, to, to, to someone uh, who doesn't have access to the site already. Now, the reason uh, why I decided to do this video is because your experience will vary, uh, the, the sharing experience will vary depending on uh, on the type of site that you have in SharePoint. So let me explain what I mean by that. Look, in modern SharePoint, uh, we really have two types of sites. We have, if you go ahead and start creating a site, right, uh, you have two choices. You have uh, the uh, communication site, which is uh, primarily used for one-way communication, like let's say an HR employee site. And we have uh, what's called a team site, which is really a, a site that is connected, that is part of Office 365 groups. And I actually did a video uh, uh, on that type of site uh, a while ago. Uh, this is the site where, uh, where again, uh, it's not just a SharePoint site, it's a, a site that is part of Office 365 groups that's connected to uh, other aspects of the group um, and other um, assets of the group like uh, planner and teams and outlook calendar uh, etc so now let me first start with uh, showing you how the you know what the sharing experience uh, looks like if we are using a regular SharePoint site and let's just say we have a communication site I'm not going to create a new one because I already have one right here this is the site I created uh, based on the communication site template this is what it looks like. I customize it a little bit. So let's go ahead and invite someone into this site. So typically, and this is how, by the way, you know, you would do it on any other, uh, you know, regular site that is not part of the Office uh, 365 group. So it could be maybe a sub site that you have uh, in your intranet. It could be any other site. Um, as long as it's not connected to Office 365 group, the experience would be the same. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you are using modern SharePoint uh, experience. So here we go. Uh, let me go ahead and invite someone into uh, my site, gear icon, site permissions. And then, of course, we see the three familiar groups, uh, security groups uh, that we have in SharePoint. So the three security groups that we have are site owners, uh, site members, and site visitors. Visitors are your read-only people, so uh, they can only read and download. Members are your add, added, delete people. And then, uh, and what I mean by add, added, delete, I mean content, of course, right? And then owners, uh, I mean, these are pretty much admins uh, of the site. They have uh, full privileges. They can do everything. Members can plus, uh, you know, manage permissions, and they can delete the site if they want to. All right, so let me go ahead and invite someone into my site. So you click the share site, and then you can uh, you can actually add users, other security groups. But let me, you know, let's stay simple. I'm going to invite Mary. And because, uh, and you see it adds Mary's name, and because I'm adding Mary to a SharePoint, regular SharePoint site, uh, I have three different uh, privileges, uh, you know, to choose uh, to choose from. Uh, permission levels, if you will. So um, if I want uh, Mary to be uh, a visitor, I will uh, give her read-only access. Uh, if I want her to be a member, right, I would give her the edit access. And if I want Mary, um, you know, to be just like me, I will uh, give her full control so she will be in the owner's group. In this case, let's uh, leave it like this, where I want I will add Mary as a member, so edit privileges. I can, of course, send her an email, an invite, and here we go. Look at this, Mary is added into the members group. Nice and easy, nice and easy. And of course now, uh, Mary uh, being a member of the group, she can add, edit, delete anything as far as uh, the content is concerned on my SharePoint site. Now, let's see what the experience is like if we, if we are using an Office 365 group. 
here we go i have an office 365 group and um again just to refresh uh, your memory so what an office 365 group is it's a membership group uh that is tied to uh many different assets that are part of your applications if you will that are part of your office 365 subscription so when you provision an office 365 group you get not just a sharepoint site you get a distribution list uh, for the group you get an outlook calendar for the group you get a planner tool a plan and planner task management tool right uh, you get uh, microsoft teams if you want to a chat based collaboration so you get all these different tools and essentially the idea is that whoever is a member whoever is the um, member of the group uh, they pretty much get equal access add added delete access to uh, to as far as the content is concerned to uh, you know uh, in all of these applications, including the SharePoint site. All right. So let's go ahead and invite someone in. Let's share this site with someone else. I invite somebody else into our site. Gear icon, site permissions. So far, so good. And again, we have these three groups, three SharePoint security groups that we saw previously. And inside of these groups, you already see some, you know, uh, other uh, other security groups. These are actually Office 365, you know, kind of groups, right? Uh, so whoever is the member of the site uh, of the of the, I'm sorry of the group is in here, and whoever is the owner, they pretty much end up over here. Now, then we click invite people, and look at uh, look at this. We have now two choices. We didn't have them on the regular site, and the two choices being add members to the group and share site only. What is the difference? Let me explain. If I choose this first option, add members to the group. So let's add Mary. Essentially, I'm inviting Mary to be a member of the group. That means that once I do that, Mary will have access to everything the group has to offer. So now that I added Mary, right? Mary now has access to a SharePoint site, a plan in Planner, Teams, Outlook, uh, etc. All right. And again, if I do uh, gear icon site permissions, you actually don't see Mary's name in here. And the reason is because she ended up inside of this security group, uh, Office 365 security group over here. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, let me, uh, let's uh, remove Mary for a second. So I'm removing Mary from the group. All right. Now let's choose the other option. Gear icon, set permissions, invite people again. In this case, I'm going to share site only. Look at this. It even tells you um, over here, what happens is that if I were to choose this option, is that if I, whoever I invite using this option will only have access to the site. All right, they will not get access to any other group resources. All right, so now if I add Mary here, and look at this, because I'm adding Mary to the site, I am again prompted to choose the proper permission level for Mary. Remember, we didn't have this choice, you know, when we added Mary as a group member, because as a group member, you know, right, all the members have add, added delete privileges you know, you know, as far as the content is concerned to everything the group has to offer. But over here, we, because we're sharing the site only, we're inviting Mary just to the site. Uh, in this case, we again have to choose the proper permission level. I can give Mary, uh, I can give Mary read-only access or make her uh, an admin or leave her, leave her as a member. All right. So here we go. I gave Mary edit privileges. And now what happens? Look at this. Mary's name appears, is inside of the SharePoint security group, site members, and her name appears next to this other group. So you see she did not end up in this group anymore. She kind of, you know, her name appears, you know, kind of separately. And the reason is because we added her to the site directly. And this option, if you think about this, this is, this is a pretty handy op uh, option, right? Uh, as far as inviting people just to the site, because, you know, let's say here's a situation for you. Let's say 
um, you you have a, an officer 65 group and you have like five or ten people five or ten members who are part of the group and then uh, let's say someone from outside your team requested access because they need to have access you know to all the files for example that you store on your SharePoint site well if you add them as a member of the group right uh, remember they will pretty much have access to uh, everything the group has to offer so, so that means that they will uh, see your Outlook calendar. They will get to see your uh, tasks and planner. They will ha they will have access to all your conversations and teams, etc. Not exactly what you want, right? Uh, maybe you just want them to have access to the files, and maybe you know what even uh, read only access to the files. So in this case, all you will need to do is just hit the gear icon, site permissions, uh, invite them directly to the site, give them you know, read only access or whatever access you need them to have. And that will guarantee that they will only have access to the documents. Well, everything on the site uh, for that matter, but definitely not uh, your your Outlook conversations or Teams conversations or Outlook calendar or anything else, right? So definitely, definitely a very handy option. And that's exactly what I wanted to show you today in this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, so I really appreciate your uh, your uh, attention uh, and thank you for watching my video and hope to see you again uh, on my blog sharepointmaven.com as well as my youtube channel have a great rest of the day goodbye